in fact, I'm going to get rid of the hat because it's very warm in here. So that's that's what but I do on, on my chat show anyway, you know. Yeah. I'll tell you what, we're, we're just going to start. Raffaello Di Crotola. Um, you've, you're a Barnet man, born up in Barnet. Um, you've been in pra Saving Private Ryan, Rush, and many more other big films. Um, obviously, there's a lot of work involved in the big films. Can you tell us more about that, just for our viewers? And those, uh, yeah, I think uh, I've been in the game quite a long time now. And um, those particular projects that you're talking about, they're obviously good ones and good ones to be uh, associated with because it always seems a little bit uh, daunting at first. But actually, when you get on set and uh, you're working with those kind of people, it's a lot easier than it, it appears in the mind, you know. And... Uh, so yeah, I've enjoyed it. I've been lucky with certain projects, and um, Private Ryan was actually shot in Hatfield, which is uh, at the time I was in Finchley, and it wasn't too far up the road, which was convenient. Okay, that was handy. <laughs> Sorry, that was very handy for you. Yeah, it was. It was. I think probably part of the reason we ended up in the movie. But there we are. Well, that was Jesus. I thought. I thought it was. I didn't realize it was in Hatfield as well. That's. That's a nice touch for you there. Actually, going back, if I remember correctly, a lot of all the beach scenes were shot in Ireland. That's right. That's right. I think they were down in Wicklow or somewhere like that. Oh, is that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So a few of my friends were out there for that. And uh, one of the actors, Corey Johnson, actually um, was in the, that's, the scenes on the beach. And uh, I ended up working with him recently in a movie called Blood Moon. So, yeah, yeah I know that. He said he was out there. Good, good. There's a good knock-on effect in the movie business, isn't there? Does uh, you you end up meeting a few people, and there's a there's a connection somewhere that uh, works itself out in the end somehow. Yeah. Well, I hope you keep me in mind for a few movies now, Raffaello. We keep this old old Irish head involved now. You never know. <laughs> yeah, we got. I'm, I'm up for fighting scenes, so good. Good to go. <laughs> Oh, look at the Always need someone to. <laughs> I love your cup. My cup. That, that <laughs> one's from my daughter. Boo. <laughs> Sit, it's sophisticated. We're going to yeah. talk to you, Simone. So we didn't get you the Christmas one. Yeah. <laughs> now, we're going, to get, we're going to talk to you, Simone, for a couple of seconds, if that's okay. Sure. Yeah. And you, you've been involved with bad girls. Yeah. Raffaello, is she really a bad girl? Oh, my God. Well cast in that movie. Well cast. <laughs> that team. Elise, a bit of a, our friend Elise Quavero, she's a bit of a bad girl too, isn't she? Oh, I think so. Yeah. yeah. You have to keep your eye. I've been on Thank set. God. Way back. We don't live we were, God, but there we are. Yeah, we were in set in London. That's where I met Elise on set. So oh, really? Yes, yeah, we're great friends ever since, as you can imagine. She's just such a good friend, you know. Um, she is, yes. Uh, so let's get back to you, Simone. So, um, Philomena, what was that like? That the, the, the film Philomena, now that must have been something different, completely different for you. Um, yeah, it was. I mean, I, I just fell in love with the script. It was, it was amazing to read. A fantastic story. Um, and it was... One of those ones that, you know, I, I kind of throw myself, get very involved when I'm reading it. I try and make sure that I've, you know, got quiet and some space when I'm reading a script for the first time because it's your first impression of something. And it had me laughing one minute and then in tears and then in tears again. And um, even though it wasn't a, wasn't a very big part in it, I just was really happy to be involved in it and be a part of it at all because it was just... It you know, was absolutely a film. brilliant film. I actually brilliant went script. to see it in the cinema on my own and... Uh, I called Simon straight after him and said, brilliant that you're involved in that because that was a very powerful piece. Mm. Yeah. And it, it, it wasn't like bad girls where you are more feisty and look at the smile of her, look. <laughs> <laughs> no, it wasn't like bad girls. It was a big change for you then. Enrolled, you know. Uh, it's not the biggest change that I've had in terms of roles. Uh, she was still Scottish and, um, you know, not a million miles away from me. But, um, yeah, she was, she was different from that character, yeah. 
Yeah, for sure. Yeah. yeah. And then I'm sure you're good fun with Steve Coogan on set. Yeah, well, he, he was very focused on what he was doing. He was quite serious on set, to be honest. Um, although, you know, if you, you know, it, it, when he came off and having a cup of coffee, you know, you could kind of get him into that funny zone a little bit. But, um, uh, you know, because he, he wrote and he was one of the producers. So, you know, it was a, you know, it was a big deal for him. So he was, um, he was very serious about it all, you know, um, and um, very focused when he's working. Yeah. yeah. Clever man, brilliant. Oh yeah, you know he called a lot. And it's funny, he was um, my friend in Manchester, and, and Steve Coogan. There, they've been at the same drama class, and they're a fella from my class here in, in Newry in Ireland, and um, they're good friends. And I was on set with um, the look of love in London with Steve Coogan, and I know exactly what you're saying because he's walking around, he's and he's doing his lanes as he's walking around, and he's. But he's 100% focused, I have to say. He's a great, fantastic actor. Yeah, I mean, all of that's just one of his, you know, the, the characters that he switches into, you know, um, when he's mucking about. Um, and he's great at that. He's very funny. Yeah. He's natural, isn't he? A natural comedian. Natural comedian, yeah. yeah brilliant. And he was, absolutely, he was really good in that role. I mean, he, the, yeah, he that, that film was a solid piece of work. And, yeah. Yeah. And I was, look, I was looking at a few of your scenes earlier on, Raffaello. Um, that one um, that one of you do, doing, you know, come on, mate, you have to get in the car and all this crack. Um, it was so funny. Elise sent me a, a bit of a bio on the two of you. Thanks, Elise. You know, thank you. But it's, uh, <laughs> you are, it's lovely to virtually meet you. But I can't wait to hook up with you in London maybe sometime, you know. Oh, absolutely. Or, yeah. or you're always welcome to Ireland. And we can hook up here sometime. Never know, no. never know. But Simon, Simon did a TV series there, actually. Yeah. In Connemara called Single Handed. I don't know if you ever saw that. Um, that was a great series. I don't know. It's kind of dwindled away a little bit. Didn't it? I don't know. I that think they did serious, three, yeah. three series maybe, uh, and I was in the third one. Um, and then I haven't heard any more about it. But uh, fantastic, great. It's a cop show, you know. Yeah. Um, the lead guys, the guard, and you know, um, one of the episodes had Stephen Rea in it, and uh, yeah, you know, it attracted really good actors. That was a great show. Yeah. Yep. It was nice to spend some time in Ireland as well. Oh my god, the people were just absolutely lovely, and uh, it was a whole different experience yeah. actually. Yeah, because we're a friendly bunch over here. Absolutely, what? and you can put it away in the pub at night as well. <laughs> oh, I know we're we're very well versed in that. We're all. <laughs> <laughs> it took a lot of training to do that, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Give me that picture, you know, you, maybe. <laughs> Only joking. <laughs> well, it's, it's been it's been an absolute blast talking to you briefly, although although briefly it is. Um, I'd love to. You, I'd love to whilst you're online. Actually, is to quickly because we we've been working together on our production company. I don't know if you know anything about it. Right. Um, and Flim, I don't know if you've seen Flim. The movie, the no. film that we made. Ah, okay. So we made a film. Took us four years to make, and it was the story of uh, uh, an, a Bollywood want-to-be film director trying to make it in Hollywood. And um, we it, it, we only made it for about thirty-five thousand pounds, and we managed to get it into Rain Dance, and then we got a Biffa nomination for it, which was incredible. So it's only just come out on iTunes, Amazon. Vimeo, and um, it's really been critically acclaimed. So we're really proud of it. Everybody that was involved in it, all the actors were extraordinary. Um, nobody came to this project for money. They just came to it because they wanted to be part of something that was fun to do. And um, yeah, it's done really well. In, and consequently, it's brought us forward to the, our next project, which is a film that I wrote with a friend of mine who sadly passed away recently. He was in Flynn as well, Alex Giannini. Uh, it's based on a true story about a young couple eloping to the UK for a better life and then they, he gets caught up in the mental health system by accident and uh, they're struggling to come out of it with the cultural differences. So that's what we're sort of working on now. Someone's going to be in it as well and help co-produce it. Um, so, yeah, I mean, we're really sort of pushing it with it. With, we're very fortunate to be involved with these as actors and these big films sometimes when they come up and we love it and I think what we did was go, you know, we want to 
make our own projects that we're proud of and that's what we started to do and I think Flim has definitely give us the, given us the stepping stone into a different uh, trajectory with that. So we'd love you and your viewers to have a look at it. Um, let us know what you think because it was a hard slog. It was, it was a backpack with a camera, sound guy, and we just ran around getting characters wherever we could around the world and then edited it over two years to wow. put the narrative together. Wow. I'm impressed. I'm very impressed with that, mate. Um, I want yeah. to know more about that. Well, I'm happy to send you the link, and I would love it if you put it out there because I think you know, obviously, with these smaller films, the the main concern is that you don't have a marketing budget. Yeah. So usually things have to have a bit of traction before people go, "Oh, you should go and see that movie," which is fine. It should come from a genuine place. So anything like this really helps us when people go, oh, let, "Let me check that out and see." And it's yeah. a very cheap film to buy on. Vimeo and iTunes and all that. So I think people are, if they really do want a fun night, is check out the reviews. They'll see it's worth worth it, and and you'll see all the hard work put into it by many people. Oh, well, fantastic! I can't wait to see it, and um, we are going to promote it now on the Banter Show. Um, so brilliant! Thank you very much. Yeah, put it out later on. All our friends get it, get watching this, get watching Flynn, and we're going to we'll promote I'll, it. And thank you. I'll send you the details, uh, Tony. I'll send you the details of it. Good man, Raffaello. Thank you very much. Much appreciated, by the way. No, not at all. Listen, uh, thank you for giving us the shout and uh, asking to interview us. It's been, a, it's been really nice. Lovely thank you. Speaking to you. Yes, thank you very much, both of you. And the next time I'll be talking to you will be in person, hopefully. At the pub. And we're going to maybe have a little <laughs> drink involved too. You know yourself. Yeah. Well, Raffaello, you can send me the link. Um, Any time, and um, we'll we'll get on. Me and Mickey will get on the ball. We'll, we're going to get watching it. We're going to we'll put it out there. We'll tweet tweet it and retweet it. Um, we'll spread the word for you. We're well, lovely, lovely, great, Tony. Thank you so much, and uh, we we'll look forward to catching up soon. Then, yeah, yeah. Hopefully, I'll be back in, in Mill Hill, and we'll we'll contact each other from there or whatever. We'll meet up. We'll we'll have a, a proper banter. Absolutely. All we'll right, buddy. Simone and Raffaello, lovely to meet you guys. And thanks for your time and thanks for talking to us at the Bomber Show. Brilliant. God bless you. Thanks Brilliant. a lot, man. Bye. Oh, bye. From me and Meggy, Razor. That's my catchphrase, Razor. <laughs> Love it. Brilliant. Bye. Take care. Bye. bye.